Oh, no, we were pretty close, you know. 30 seconds is quite a lot in a breath hold situation. That's, but that's the period when you start to, like, yeah. pee your pants. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Woohoo! Ring. Rings of power. There's a lot of expectation, huge fandom. How exciting or daunting is it to return to Middle Earth or to bring it back? I think it's kind of both, right? Yeah. It's exciting and daunting. All of the above. It's it's daunting, but it's mainly exciting. Uh, I feel really privileged to be a part of this world and um, ex really excited to share it re with everyone. Long time in, um, in the making, three years, so about time. This is a, a, an odd period because we've now seen it. Mm. I know, I absolutely love it. Uh, but it's, it's, I just want everyone else to now watch it. I want, I want, I want the anticipation to be over. Do you know what I mean? I think when we were filming, it was just kind of more exciting because the idea of it ever being seen or us ever getting out of this like little bubble of crew and cast that we had yeah. in New Zealand, and now that it's kind of coming out, the daunting is starting to. Yes. I mean, in a way, it's almost not. It's it's kind of it's it's introducing a new part of it. Um, so it's you know this 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 uh, time hasn't been seen on screen before. Um, and these characters, I think it's really exciting because if they're canon characters, you're gonna see them in a new light. Middle Earth is a really great place to spend one's time and there's no other uh, universe that I, I would rather uh, be in and create in and, um, and enjoy. And, and uh, the fan expectation is uh, something that matches also our own expectations and the pressure we put on ourselves. I mean, we come to this as fans uh, who love the books and, and love uh, prior adaptations as well. And, uh, you know, so from the beginning, we said, we really have to get this right. Yeah, this is a thousand years before book and before the Peter Jackson canon, you know, so we're playing in a new sandpit. Right? Mm. The orc, yeah, that was fully prosthetic, and it was so easy to um, be scared because they were right in front of you and physically, you know, it wasn't like looking at a random guy in a green suit. Yeah. It was a guy in a very scary suit. And it's so frightening when they're kind when of, you see them. Well, yeah, not frightening when they're drinking a smoothie, but really frightening yeah. when they're, when you're on set and you're actually doing all the action. Um, yeah, it yeah. was amazing to have the practical stuff. But also those guys, those, they're creature actors. Lots of them are dancers, circus performers, some actors, just street actors. They are often in the makeup chair at like midnight mm -hmm. for a 7 a.m. start. And then... So they've done a full day at work yeah. by the time they even get on to so the set. hardcore. Yeah, if you if you sat next to one having a milkshake, that's, not, that's <laughs> really funny when you see it all having a milkshake or a smoothie. Um, but yeah, the I mean, every single day, just seeing everyone dressed in their kind of immaculate costumes that that were just so well crafted. Um, yeah, the production value is just out the gate. One of those levels of details is on the half its costumes. Um, on their clothes, they have these apple seeds um, that the elder generation have more because they've seen a lot more, but basically they represent um, every half foot that has died in previous migrations. Mm. So that is just something that really, I mean, like Ella said, this, it really unifies the community together, but it's also so individual too because it varies depending on what half foot it is. So like that's just one bit of detail that was, that was just there. And so you can, you can only imagine like, how many levels there are and um, just how that really made you like fall into the world and, and become those characters. The dress that I wear in Linden, um, our costume designer Kate Hawley had basically found scraps of loads of fabric um, that was from the 1920s mm. and kind of pieced all these pieces together and so she really wanted some of the elven clothing to actually be old. Um, so that was really amazing to wear something yeah. like that. I arrived and I hadn't seen any, I hadn't seen any scripts. I'd seen one script, and um, oh, yeah. I was very frustrated and wanted to know about it. <laughs> and then one of the production managers took me around all the different um, mm. the armor and the swords mm. and the staffs and the carts, and it was like having a slow immersion into this world, and it was beautiful. A lot of the moments that I love, and miss maybe why I love them came out of rehearsals in hotel rooms or in the middle of the woods, or, you know, yeah. like, this where Deesa hugs me and it, that that sort of th piece came out of the fact that we were, I was still on a chair in a hotel room when we were yeah. rehearsing the scene. So like, it's <laughs> at, the, at the core of it is just like, of everything that we do is, is, is 
three friends who really genuinely love each other and mm. love working with each other, um, passionately trying to figure out these scenes and make them the best that they possibly mm. can be. And so I feel like as a storyteller, that's the, that's the dream really, mm. is, to, is to be working with people who you are, um, are blown away by and admire and inspire you. And that's definitely true for these kind words though. I know so. well do you know what it's the same back right back at him I give him loads of compliments and he hates it <laughs> <laughs> we felt that this story was kind of given to us um, it's in the books and we just sort of saw it and have been trying to pull it out ever since um, I remember when we first did what in in our industry we call a pitch out you sort of pitch and describe the season of television to the heads of the studio um, it's actually I think before you even joined the party um, and it was the same story that is now the show of the first season and and I remember we just sort of it just flowed it was like 30 minutes like boom boom boom, boom and then this and then this and then this and and I remember you know people were like like Vernon was like <laughs> like, I'm supposed to have a note. Let me think. You know, <laughs> um, you know, and and I think we just felt like this is this is in our bones. This story wants to be. We're just so lucky to be here to sort of steward it along, um, and never look back. I knew that Lord of the Rings was going to be made. I didn't know what I was going in for, and I read the script and I thought, oh, this is very Middle Earth. This, so I kept going. You know, I can grow a great beard, Mike. <laughs> make a great dwarf. And my grand, she was like, why would you say that? I mean, we weren't supposed to know. Uh, but I, know. I didn't know. Well, that it was Lord of the Rings. No, it's an untitled Amazon project. Yeah. I didn't know that they were doing it, so I had yeah. no idea. I was, I was. Did happily... you think it was untitled Amazon? Project? I thought it was untitled Amazon. That's project. a weird name for a project. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at the premiere. I did from my first audition, mm -hmm. but you didn't. Right? I didn't know. I went into it for an untitled project, and I found out just in the kind of waiting room before going in that it was Lord of the Rings, and had to go and kind of have a moment in the bathroom, being like. You've got to rethink everything, but you've trained for this. You've trained for this for years. It was untitled Amazon project, and in I don't know why they titled it that, like very secretive. But then, in parentheses, AKA Lord of the Rings. So oh, so you had that too in the beginning, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you too. Yeah, that's the thing. Like there was like untitled, and it's very secret, and <laughs> I, I, I thought it was like a mistake because like. Mine said, aka Lord of the Rings, and then the next email, yeah, so there was, they took there it was out. like, yeah, they took it out. Yeah. Amazon Pro project, and then in the, in the edition, they were like, oh, sorry, this is a very secret project. I was like, it's Lord of the Rings, bro. I auditioned, I just kind of went into the room and sort of did it, and then a month later, I got it, and then still didn't really know what it was, mm. and then went to New Zealand and was actually told. Yeah. I did mean, you scream? Yeah, <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> I think we all just wanted to be in Middle Earth in whatever capacity. Mm. Part of the the, the wonderful uh, privilege of being a new character. I was a, had a hand at creating the movement uh, for the Sylvan Elves, and especially mine, and uh, so I brought in a bunch of different martial arts. I, I did Taekwondo, Kung Fu, Wushu, Tai Chi, um, and I gelled it all with Afro-Brazilian Capoeira. I learned sword fighting, staff fighting, wire work, un underwater, like deep breath holds, like there was all of that. There was so much of it, and Elvis, and, and a new accent as well, and oh how gosh. to move as an elf. I hadn't done basically any of the skills that I ended up doing. I thought I could swim, and then I remember after my first swim lesson, he was like, "Do a few lengths and stop me." Kind of halfway through the first length, and I was like, "Let's go back to basics." There's so a lot like, of work to do. Back to basics? <laughs> I thought I could at least do this. But yeah, I swam, I climbed, I learned how to ride a horse I'd never ridden before. Um, and yeah, we did lots of stunts, and the stunts were so much fun because mm. lots of that you did just feel like you were messing about with your friends as a child, like yeah. um, pretending that you had a bow and arrow or a sword. Horse riding, yeah. And that was very liberating, kind of being able to do some of my own stunts that I, I didn't think I was going to be able to do, and then being able to do it was like, wow. Uh, it was like the dream, you know, when you're like riding on a horse into battle, kind of, yeah, you kind of think about it as a kid and then you're able to do it on set. So that was that was amazing. Tyro and I um, what, took like gardening classes and just because oh, yeah. of our roles and also like perfume I making forgot perfume. we did that, yeah. Um, just because I'm a herbalist and he helped me with my herbology. I heard, what's that? Is, what's yeah, that? It's yeah. Is it? Herbology. Okay, well there you go. We had to learn yeah. to hold our breath and equalize and free dive and stuff, which was a, a real challenge, yeah. Mm. Who can hold their breath the longest? Oh no, we were pretty close. You know? Thirty seconds is quite a lot in a breath hold situation. That's but that's the period when you start to like, yeah, pee your pants. 